Alright, this is not the Quick Speed Shop. I'm bringing back a What You Talking About Wednesday. What was your first car? I'm going to show you mine. Why don't you tell me yours in the comments? We're going to start it right now. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. Alright, so I'm fortunate enough to have saved my original car that I had, my first car that I had in high school that I drove. It's a 1984 AMC Eagle four-wheel drive station wagon, and it's a uh, it's a car I've had since 1995, so it's at uh, 26 years. Um, I drove this car from 1995 until about 2009 as pretty much a daily driver. It's got 203,000 miles on it. I started driving it at like 102, so I put 100,000 miles on it. Uh, the backstory of this car is. The original owners lived around the corner from my uh, parents' house. They bought it new in 1984. In 1992, I believe, they put it out for sale for like $2,000, and my mom bought it to replace her 79 Malibu station wagon. And uh, she bought it there in 1992, and then she gave it to me when I turned, when I got my driver's license in 1995. I was like almost 17. I had to wait for uh, the uh, what do you call it, the driver's ed to get my license. So she gave me this car, I paid for the insurance and I paid for repairs and I uh, drove it and fixed it up and uh, had it ever since. So let's take a closer look at my 1984 AMC Eagle station wagon. This is pretty much your standard issue uh, Eagle wagon body wise, but there's a whole bunch of modifications I made to it over the years and uh, it's uh, pretty uh, pretty well customized. It has been, I repainted it, I did it with uh, enamel in about 2013 I put the power bulge hood on it. This car in 84 would have had the flat hood with the, uh, the trim on the center and the hood ornament. I put the power bulge hood on it. It's got a set of vinyl bucket seats out of an SX4. Um, it's got the typical broken AMC door handle here, but I'll show you that in a second. It's a, a 258 powered wagon. Uh, this car was pretty much no options, no roof rack, no rear wiper, no AC, no cruise. The only options it had was a tilt wheel, AM FM radio, and uh, five-speed instead of the standard four-speed transmission for 84. Um, it's, it's been modified quite a bit now. I actually uh, had this um, car on the internet when the internet first came around back in the late 90s. I had a uh, website dedicated to it, which has since been uh, taken down years ago when, the, uh, when they changed domain names and stuff like that. But I had a, uh, a list of all the repairs and built and pretty much documented the build of this car before there was websites and uh, uh, you know I was on the AMC list which was a web ring where where uh, websites would go around and you could click around one that's that's really old school uh, internet technology now but this car was before Instagram and all that stuff I had a pretty pretty standard boilerplate web page with pictures of the car and updates I kept I kept a a blog, a web blog of all the repa all the repairs I did on it, and uh, it was pretty much. Uh, it's been in a TV show on the internet from the when they came out with the Dodge Caliber at the uh, I think the Geneva Auto Show. They used a picture of this car to compare it to what they thought the Dodge Caliber at the time would look like, and that was probably 2002 or three something like that. And uh, it's been all over the place. Like I said, I put 100,000 miles on it. It's got the original 258 two barrel engine with the original plastic valve cover. I believe this is, it doesn't have the center bolts, I believe this is a factory replacement valve cover from way back in the day, but it was, it was installed before 1992. Um, it's got a non-stepper BBD carburetor on it. I eliminated some of the vacuum nonsense on here. And uh, pretty much it's uh, all AMC, pretty much all original parts under the hood. Never been, the engine's never been a part. It's uh, got 203,000 miles on it. Runs good, good oil pressure, burns just a touch of oil when it shifts gears, but it's uh, like these old 258s, you can't kill them. Still working, still running great. So this is the original paint scheme, the, the light slate blue with the dark blue on the bottom. Um, I repainted the car, like I said, in like 2002 or three. Um, I blacked out all the trim like a sport wagon. I had sport mirrors on it originally. I put the, I put the factory mirrors back on, the original non-sport mirrors back on it. Um, it I. Uh, I've done a lot of suspension work to this car. I built a custom front lift for the front suspension with a one inch ball joint spacer. And right now it's got 31 inch tires on it, which I just put out of the store here. 
These would rub, I, I was running it with 235, 75, 15 tires on the Dodge Diplomat police car wheels, which have been on the car for about 20 years. Um, I raised the front fender flares, trimmed them down here, raised the front fender flares because the fenders have some rust behind there. The front frame rails rotted out on this car like they do, and on, I think about 2003, I cut the frame off the firewall and I built a custom tube front frame section out of two by two square tubing, I replaced all that. It needs a little bit of work down here. The rocker panels are gone. I replaced them with steel tubing and just hung the plastic flares over them. So the car, the car is pretty, uh, I ran it for 20 years in the salt with any, without any fluid film or nothing, so it got eaten up pretty bad. I've got to do some repairing to the frame still. It's got a couple holes in the floor now. It actually, these doors are kind of rusty. I, I cut up another car, I cut up an 86 for parts, so I'm going to eventually rebuild this car, fix all the rust, change out the doors and stuff, and uh, put it back on the road eventually. But in the rear, it has a Dodge Magnum from a 77 Dodge Magnum. It's got a uh, a Dodge nine and a quarter rear end with uh, the 11 by two inch brakes on the back. So it actually, it's not proportioned right, so it'll lock the rear wheels up. It's got 10 inch discs on the front, 11 inch drums on the back. And uh, I need an adjustable proportioning valve. So the rear end is wider than stock. It's got a 273 gear ratio. Front rear is the factory 273 car. It's got a 273 in the rear Dodge rear end with a twin grip, or a sure grip I should say for Dodge. Uh, originally, I ran the AMC Eagle rear end in here, the stock rear end, and I got a twin grip out of a Gremlin. So I had a twin grip in this in the original AMC 15 rear end. And I took that out and I put this heavier duty rear end in it uh, about 15 years ago. And it's got front and rear custom brush guards, the rear one, which you can't really see, it's kind of buried. One around, I had one on the front, which has got rusty, so I threw it away. I'll build another one at some point. On the inside, it's all stock AMC parts here. It's got that AMC door sound. Um, like I said, it's got SX4 bucket seats in it. I put a sport wheel out of another 84 uh, Eagle, uh, actually a Limited, in here with a leather F steering wheel. It's got the five-speed shifter, which currently, I, I broke the original T5 transmission years ago. It's currently got a T4 four-speed out of Jeep CJ7 in it. And if you notice down here on the floor, there is a a shifter for the transfer case. I've actually got a low range transfer case out of a, uh, a 1982 or 3 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. This is NP229 transfer case, which gives you, I still have the vacuum shift here for the four wheel drive on the dash. I converted it to, to, a, to a shift on the fly, which came out in 1985 on the Eagles. And the 84 model used to have to stop and back up and pull a little lever to switch from two to four. So I've switched the shift on the fly for the transfer case between two and four wheel drive. And then I have the lever I installed here with the low range. So this Jeep has a lifted front suspension, lifted rear suspension with two inch blocks in the back. The Dodge Magnum uh, nine and a quarter rear end. The new process 229 low range Jeep transfer case. And then the T4 transmission. I've got an edit attack. I have a, a part of a gauge package out of, out of the same Eagle Wagon, this, uh, the limited that this steering wheel came out of. Unfortunately, it's broken, but I've got a CB in here and pretty much uh, the rest of the interior stock except for the SX4 seats. And I upgraded the speakers with some speakers back in the day. And uh, it's got crank windows. Oh, I, I added intermittent wipers here, which would, it was an option. I added a rear wiper on the rear hatch. That was an option that this car didn't have. Pretty much used all factory EMC parts. It also has a factory front skid plate on the front that I found out of the junkyard. You know, my friend and I were into these cars 15 years ago and you used to be able to find them at the junkyards or buy them from people for like a hundred bucks. I, I owned six of these cars at one time. This is the only one I got left and I cut up the 86 one. I did a video. I cut up an 86 for parts to restore this car. But this is the only one I got left. I had a, let's see, an 83. 283s, the 84, this 84 and the 85. My ex-girlfriend had a 81, and uh, I also had an AMC Spirit and a Gremlin at one time. But this is my original car, and uh, someday I'm going to restore it. That's so all the guys say I'm going to restore it someday. Well, it's in here, it runs and drives. It's got no brakes and it's got holes in the floor, but someday I'm going to get this thing going again. Um, fix it all up, repaint it again, do some new custom bumpers, probably stick like the 31 inch tires. I might go 
and use a Jeep Cherokee axle in front and do a, a leaf spring conversion front suspension maybe, I don't know, make it like a Wrangler, or I might just leave it how it is. Just do some more trimming on the front fenders and clear the 31 inch tires. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, this is what you talk about Wednesday, and this is my first car that I still have 26 years later. I want to hear from you guys in the comments, what was your first car, do you still have it, do you wish you still had it, what, what was it? So I'm fortunate enough to have been able to keep this car all these years and uh, someday I want to put it back together and put it back on the road and at least I got it here. I'm glad I didn't scrap it or sell it or anything or cut it up for parts because you can only get your original car back once and this is it. You're looking at it. My 1984 AMC Eagle Wagon. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again right here at the Quick Speed Shop.